Hey everybody, it's BK Stunt here. It's a really cool opening scene. I like how Marvel does that with a lot of their media. Yes, BK Stunt here bringing you the X-Men arcade game. I remember playing this when I was a young lad. Not that I'm necessarily old. Not that you need to know. But uh, this game was quite popular at the roller skate rink in the town I grew up in. X-Men. <laughs> oh, that opening scene is just great. And here are the X-Men you can play as. Kind of a generic opening scene to the arcade game. Nothing really uh, concrete there. Of course, the X-Men were wildly popular. I'm sure there there was a uh, cartoon series with the X-Men, so they of course had to bring a arcade game out. I'm sure it did quite well for itself. I can't imagine it didn't. But let's go over the how to play options here. It's really basic, guys. You use square, circle to attack. You can use a triangle for mutant powers. Move is you know. The analog stick, directional buttons, press X to jump. Uh, let's see, jump attack, you can of course jump attack. If you're near an enemy uh, and they can be grabbed, you can throw them. You mostly do throwing on your own. You can attack downed enemies by pressing attack near them. And uh, mutant powers, they are different depending which version of the game you're playing. Uh, they have the English version and they have the Japanese version. We'll go over more of that later. You got your energy, your life, mutant powers, and drops. Only the Japanese version has drops. Uh, this video is actually on the English version, so we can pretty much ignore that. We won't get any dropped items. We will get points for defeating enemies. We do have credits. In the US version, we can keep playing after beating the game if we wished. And we can see the timer if we want. I don't really care about the timer. Now, the uh, extended play, as far as I know, it doesn't do anything extra. It's just, you know, hey, you beat the game. Good job. You can keep on playing now if you wished. Here's the default controls, which are good enough for me. And we got some options here, timer, smoothing, wallpaper, screen size, all neat. Use what you wish. These are the, the bosses of the game. They pretty much gave them away right there. But me and my buddy Devin will be playing through this. Uh, you can do the six player cabinet for widescreen, going to keep that. Yeah, USA ROM, Japanese ROM, I already said this would be USA. We got normal hard expert and once you beat the game you can actually select what stage to start now here's our choices for x-men we got dazzler uh, we got cyclops we got colossus i have no idea who dazzler is <laughs> we of course got uh, wolverine you got uh... yeah i have no idea who dazzler i cannot remember her i want to say it was jubilee but yeah, I can't remember. We of course got Wolverine, Storm, and Nightcrawler. Uh, growing up, I remember Wolverine was by far the most popular. I think Nightcrawler was probably second. I don't think anybody liked Cyclops. And of course, if you're a guy, you can't like Storm. That doesn't make any sense. In the 21st century, evil mutants led by Magneto aim to destroy the world. Humans could do nothing against the power of the evil mutant. The only hope is X-Men. Go and save the city. Okay, Magneto is attacking. We must stop him. Uh, I am playing as Nightcrawler. My buddy Devin is playing as, uh, was it Dazzler? Yeah, so he actually used a mutant attack there, as you can see. The big red area of attack. That's uh, Dazzler's mutant power. Pretty nice. As you can see, it uses up your life when you use mutant powers. That is in the English ROM. In the Japanese version, if you have the uh, sphere there underneath, 
it uses the sphere first and then if you keep on using it without the spheres it will use uh, your life. The English one as far as I can tell they just wanted to make quarters off of you in the arcades so it uses your life the faster you die the more quarters they make the more quarters they make the happier they are and as far as I can tell that's just how it was I really like Nightcrawler's moveset you saw him uh, basically pouncing on an enemy there the downed enemy that's really cool there is Nightcrawler's mutant attack you uh, basically zip around the screen and hit just about everything. I recommend using it for crowded areas, kind of like Dazzler's area mutant attack. Use it in crowded areas. The higher difficulty you're on, the more enemies there will be. So the higher difficulty you're on, the more your mutant powers matter. Now the enemies with guns of course love to uh, shoot at you but they also like to swing the barrel at you if you get up close so be careful about that as you can see. And Nightcrawler also has kind of a low attack there. Very useful especially uh, for enemies that attack up high like these gun enemies. If you press uh, jump and attack close to each other and so there's a decent use of powers the uh, night nightcrawler will kinda do a flip and here's the boss of stage one pyro <laughs> I believe you get a trophy uh, for defeating pyro if you use no mutant powers on him which is easy enough to do especially since he's the first boss oh I should also note that you can play as different X-Men when you die. You gotta do it through the menu though, it's a menu option. Kinda counterintuitive. I would think when you know it's asking you if you want to continue, you should be able to select yes and then pick which X-Men you want. But it also resets the points you get. So there's pros and cons there if you care about the score. And of course there's a trophy for caring about the score as well. PSN games always have to have trophies. Pyro is pretty easy. His uh, burn moves there are by far his uh, most powerful. Be careful about jumping into him. And there we go, stage one. Yep, there's the, there's the trophy for beating him without using mutant moves. And normally on my videos I do a stage at a time, but this game is just so darn short that I'm going to put two stages per video, in the English version at least. In the Japanese version I'm just going to play until the video dictates you know what length it's at. I really love how far Nightcrawler can jump and attack. Most, most of the X-Men can jump and attack and, you know, clear most of the screen. I also really love his throw move. Now here you get some uh, robots shooting lasers at you. They're ultra annoying. Pretty easy to take out. I guess they're manufacturing robots. I'm surprised I didn't note this by now, these sentinels. Have you ever seen a sentinel so small? Ultra, salt, ultra small sentinels, either that or the X-Men have grown. Now the flames here always come in through the grates there, so just fight outside of the grates way and you'll be okay. Oh, what's that trophy for? Xavier would be proud. I'm pretty sure that's for using mutant powers a certain amount of times. I want to say five. And these Sentinels have a different color palette. Good for them. They also apparently shoot rockets. <laughs> Very dangerous. 
He got back attacks there like you just saw Nightcrawler use his uh, double kick from behind. And there's the uh, jump and attack uh, combo, that flip kick he does. We'll actually be using the different mutants as we play through the English version. So we'll be switching them out, ruining our score. You know, just to show you what they're all like. And there's that continue bar that I was telling you about. Now these enemies fire uh, rockets at you, but you can destroy them. Devin and I were never able to destroy all of them the couple times we played through the game. So, you know, they go away after a certain amount of time. A short amount of time. Not too much of a threat. Oh my. Devin and I need to work on uh, communicating our mutant attacks a little better. Nothing moves the blob. If you say so. Nothing this is of course the uh, boss to stage 2, the blob. Apparently getting punched a bunch moves him. When he's down, you can attack him. When he's down sitting on his uh, sitting on his fat butt. It's prime time to hit him. So he's actually not that hard. He has a uh, he has a quick reaction time, like most enemies in the game. He can turn on a dime and hit you, but just about any enemy can do that. To be fair. And there, we've done it. Okay, well that was easy. Well, that was stage one and two of the X-Men arcade game. Taken by Magneto. However, we had time to locate their base on Island M. Destroy it. Okay, well Magneto has been kidnapped, so we are off to rescue him. So, next time, stage three and four. Okay, thanks everybody. Take care.